this is part two of my wood project a wooden project and um, I'm cutting some of the wood down I found at Barnsdale and to make it easier in the lathe and um, I'm going to have a go at making a pot with this piece I'm going to cut it here because with an angle like that it's difficult to get it onto the lathe so you sort of cut the section off like that and uh, that will go in the bin so I'll cut it there and then I'll take the bark off this and then this will be turned into something a, a pot or something like that and I might be able to get something out of those ends I'm not sure yet bit out of breath it's windy again outside and uh, my blade's getting a bit blunt on the bow saw to cut this off so I'm going to cut it there and that'll be something I can put on the lathe got it mounted on the lathe securely put it on the slow speed I'm going to take the bark off use it on the slow speed because it's in balance to get it round give you an idea how it's done to the eye it looks quite round but you can then see when you start using the um, chisel to take it off there's a dip in the wood just there bark still on so I've got to take it right down below that and you can see how much wood I'm going to have to remove it's quite a bit just to get it to you know back to the wood and take the bark and then I can work on it you can see the goblet taking shape I've got to cut it on here and uh, I shall start on the top in a minute I'm just getting this side right and this is a piece I've cut off here, and this is the top of the goblet. Well, rain stopped play making these wooden things. Raining or sleet, and the wind's picked up, and all my tools are getting wet. But I'll just uh, carry on for the time being. This candlestick holder, which is drying out, looks like it's going to be okay this one like using green wood it's cracking so that might be in go in the rubbish bin that one I don't know I could feel it we'll see how we go and uh, I started on a goblet and I started digging out in the top and uh, yeah, I had to leave it for the time being. So I'm going to put these in the downstairs toilet. The reason why I put them in there, there's no heating in the downstairs toilet, and it's quite a cool room, and it um, slows the um, drying out of the wood. My damp meter is actually moisture meter is actually in the motorhome at the moment. I've been using that to check the ingress of water because uh, normally I'd measure the wood see how much moisture is in it but I can't do that so I'll put it all to one side um, slightly different subject I've got another electronic kit that's arrived and I'll do that in a separate video okay we've had another lot of rain so a few days have passed and I haven't been able to do any more lathe work but what I will do is show you where I am with making these things. I'm making two candlestick holders out of some, some wood. The tree just really needs varnishing now. It's, it's dried out enough or seasoned enough now to finish that. But what can happen with the wood is this one's perfectly fine. There's no cracks in it. But within a few days this one's cracked and this is one of the problems when you work with green wood 
when it dries out. It's got quite a serious crack in that one. Sometimes they close back up and then you can super glue them and sometimes they just split completely. And on the goblet I was making, still on its end blank as they say, that started to crack there to the middle outwards. So as I wasn't able to get on the lathe, I just got my drill and drilled down as much as possible to take the stress out of the wood. You can see there's a crack all the way through the middle there. And um, I'm hoping that that will relieve the pressure of it expanding and contracting at different rates within the wood. So the crack's in the middle and it hasn't gone to the edge. As you see, I drilled it there and drilled it there, and it sort of hopefully it stopped it. So today the sun's out, it's below zero, and I'm going to put that on the lathe and take the middle out. That, that relieves the pressure, and I might part it there so that'll be a goblet. But it's drying out, so there's no signs of cracking on the bottom. So I might be able to make something with that bottom bit, I don't know. But th this is one of the problems with working with green wood and sometimes the cracks appear straight away and other times it appears weeks later. So you take a, a risk but that one's fine, the candle fits in there perfectly okay and it would go in that one okay. So I don't know whether that one's a scrapper, there's not much I can do with that I don't think at the moment. Just go wait and see. I might put it in a warm place to accelerate the drying process. I normally put these in the downstairs toilet because that's the coldest room in the house. And that's where I am with these. So hopefully today I can get this on the lathe and get the centre out. Well, it's getting quite deep now, which is good. And that's where I'm going to cut it off so this is the base it's got, it has got a small crack in it just there very very small I'll see if I can trim that off a bit it might take the crack out I'm getting quite deep which is what I want yeah it's looking quite good I think this is going to be the end of this video but I'll show you what I've done with the eye. Um, two candlestick holders, one goblet, a tree, and these are bases for Jane to stand her little characters on she makes, you know, the whittled people she makes, and that's some bases. Um, because I'm working with green wood, this is what you can get. I showed you this a little bit earlier in the video, it's cracked. but. Um, you know, I made these egg cups a while back and we use those regular and I'm quite pleased with those because they're a matching pair. I've got others I've made. I don't know where they are, probably upstairs at the moment. So that's it for this video. Um, there's quite a bit of work goes into these. You know, I spent two, two mornings and I'm still not finished. I've got to sand them down. That one, probably a bit of firewood. That's I might fill it and paint it, but what I'll do with that one, I'll put it on a hot place in the house, deliberate, to see how sometimes I crack open and they close up again. So thanks for watching, please subscribe and like, bye.